Hi everybody, my name is Raymond Guzman and I'm so happy to be here and doing this video for you. A lot of you have asked me when I'm going to be doing developmental videos or uh, training videos and I figure that you know this is the perfect timing. Um, a lot of people are spiritually waking up so um, every single day there's new people joining the groups, um, people you know wanting information on how we as psychics or mediums or psychic mediums um, get the information and to to have the ability to read for y'all. Um, basically, what we um, what you should do before preparing to do any kind of reading for anyone um, is to go through an actual meditation. Um, during a meditation, you open up your your chakras and you connect. You get a clarity um, that is needed in order to get the information from spirit. Um, so before I do any kind of reading for anyone. Um, I always make it a point to um, do a meditation. You can do meditation several days, of, um, you know, several days of the week. Um, you can do it daily. It just depends on yourself. Um, once you do the meditation, um, then you're more susceptible to getting the the information from spirit directly um, and giving that information over to the sitter or to the person who's requesting the reading. Um, once I get that uh, meditation done, and then I focus and tune into the person's energy, whether this is a mediumship reading, which is for somebody who has passed, or it's a person who is still here on the physical uh, earth, it's a living person. Um, basically, just looking at the uh, person's picture, um, and then you tune into that person's energy, and um, basically the information will come to you um, at that time. Now, uh, one of the things that we get wrong a lot of times when we start trying to read is that we psych ourselves out by trying to understand the information. So, for example, uh, I'm looking at someone's picture, a photograph, and I'm they have a question they want to know about, you know, in general, anything that we pick and can pick up. Well, it's not just looking at the picture and picking up their particular emotions or what they're feeling at that specific time. Um, you actually have to tune in, and by tuning in, um, what I mean by that is actually um, focusing. You go into your mind, and you you actually get the mental images. Um, you you may see that person, um, you may see another person, you know, that comes through. Being a clairvoyant, um, you have clear seeing. So with clear seeing, um, you basically can see different things. Um, you may have like snapshots, almost like for myself when I am reading um, someone, I get like comic book strips, you know, visions or flashes of that person, um, of that information, what's going on in their particular life at that time. Um, I'll get, you know, some of the past, some of the present, and sometimes the future. Um, and that's basically how we deliver, how I deliver some of those messages to the people who I read. Um, one of the main things to do when you are reading um, is to not try to interpret the information. Because a lot of times when you try to interpret the information, um, the information may be um, misinterpreted or it may be uh, relayed wrong to the person or the person may not be able to resonate with that information. So for the most part, um, when you are reading for someone, um, just try to be very uh, calm, you know, and, um, and if you get, let's say, an image of a book or an image of, you know, of a person in their life, um, trust that information. Whatever you get, you have to trust because part of um, doing readings is intuition. And intuition is the inner knowing, which is um, a lot of us, that's where we go wrong. We don't trust the information that's being given to us by spirit. Um, so you do need to trust, you know, the information that you are given and then give it to that person exactly as you see it. So, for example, if I'm looking at a picture and I see that this person um, is is experiencing some kind of issues with their um, with their um, relationship. Um, a lot of times I'll see symbols and I'll see a symbol of like their heart um, which could be this, the heart chakra is not fully open or it's blocked or it could be that that person is having problems with the relationship so I'll tell them you know um, what I do see at this time is um, possibly some inference you know some some areas uh, some situation or issues with your um, relationship and then from there, you know, you go on and, and you 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 would just give them the information that you get. Um, basically, when I'm typing it out on a reading, um, that's how I do my readings. I type them out. Um, they will, you know, validate that information. A lot of times they'll be like, well, you're spot on. You know, this is exactly what is going on. And that kind of opens the, the pathway or the channels for everyone to feel comfortable. 
So um, basically, you know, I'll be doing a little bit more of the development uh, videos, um, you know, covering different topics to kind of help everybody uh, better understand, you know, what it is that we do as psychic mediums and how to do readings. So I want to thank you again and wish you an amazing weekend and thank you. Blessings and love and light.